What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and today I'm going to show you a fun little glitch I came across in Halo 5 that ultimately, uh, in short, broke the ending to the game, both the regular ending and the legendary ending. I'll try to explain it here. It doesn't actually physically change any of the cutscenes or, or anything like that, so whether or not you like the ending, uh, the ending doesn't change. Uh, but the way it's presented kind of does. So I'm, I'm here on the last mission, and if you can't tell what I'm doing, uh, if you've seen my Mythic uh, walkthrough, and I also have another separate walkthrough just on how to do these skips, I'm skipping the last part, or actually the entire, almost the entirety of the mission, Guardians in Halo 5. It's the last mission of the game. And when you get to a certain point and you have to ground pound back into the map, it's time-based. You have to use audio cues to do it. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but I think that I was maybe half a second off on timing it just right, and I should have died right here. But what ends up happening is I line up for the ground pound, and it won't let me actually charge the ground pound. It won't let me do anything other than just look around. And miraculously, it just teleports me back into the map. It's not supposed to do that, but it just did it anyway. I thought that was kind of cool. What happened next though I really didn't predict. So the music that's playing during the core sequence of the mission when you're supposed to go around destroying the cores, it doesn't stop, it just keeps going. Now we've seen a similar glitch to this before in Halo Combat Evolved where after you finish the mission the Maw, sometimes there's uh, background music still playing over the Maw finale music. And so this is kind of similar to that. The difference is with Halo Combat Evolved, that background music stops when the credit starts and the regular music starts up again. Here, it didn't stop there. It actually keeps going through the ending to the game, through the CGI pre-rendered cutscenes, all the way through the extended credits, and even to the legendary ending. goes all the way there until the game basically just restarts. And so, uh, what I'm about to show you is exactly what uh, happened when I was recording the game. Uh, none of this footage has been edited in terms of like adding additional music or anything. I'm just editing it for time. Uh, so take a look at it and see what you think. Now, does having the different music uh, change the mood of the ending for you? I want you to let me know. And so without further ado, here we go. Steer clear major settlements. We're just gonna run? Only until we can find a way to fight.
All right, so that wasn't a massive change to the ending, but it definitely did seem to change the tone a little bit. So what do you guys think about it? Do you like it this way? Did you at least find it funny? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, or please feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at Mythic Tyra. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTyra.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.